Hello everyone to today's SEC Online webinar. By now I'm sure uh, most of you know me. My name is Chetan Singh Gill and I'm the training manager at SEC Online. I'll be your host for today's webinar. We've been conducting these webinars since last one and a half week and uh, for those who are joining in for the first time, I would highly recommend that you must go through the recorded webinars which are available on the YouTube channel that you are on right now. So you can go to the video section and you can see all the webinars over there. Having said that, this also means that the webinar that you are on right now, this will also be uh, made available to you once the webinar is over. It will be kept on, S on YouTube channel of SEC. So if you're not subscribed to SEC Online YouTube channel, you can subscribe right uh, on the screen. You can see on the right hand side or uh, bottom of this video, the subscribe icon over there, click on subscribe and you'll get to, you'll get all the updates uh, as in when we go live or we put a new video or training video, you'll be getting all the updates right in your inbox. Uh, also, I will also show you how you can uh, get a part, become a part of our uh, mailing uh, list, wherein you will be getting every uh, very frequently you'll be getting newsletters information about new judgments information about latest amendments everything in your inbox now uh, we have covered almost the entire sec research uh, software and the earlier recorded webinars will just help you to rerun them as and when you need it so because it's uh, it's available right over there in today's webinar we will cover the other alternative search methods available in SEC Online. In the previous session, we covered the citation and the party name. So in today's uh, session, we'll be covering the remaining ones, which are namely, find case law by section, find by topic, and word and phrases. For find by topic, it's a reintroduced feature Earlier we had this feature in uh, SEC Online CD-ROM product. A lot of you who have been with us, associated with us for more than, uh, I think almost a decade now, would uh, agree with me that uh, when you used to use CD-ROM, this feature used to be pretty helpful. And uh, now we have uh, re -brought, uh, reintroduced it. The purpose of a uh, topic guide is you know, when you don't want to search by a section number, when you don't want to search by the party name, you want some, it's an assistance from the editorial department. So if I say in simple words, till now we've been retrieving documents using the search, the citation and the browse function. However, sometimes uh, it is more convenient and appropriate to look up for precedent cases by topic. Now in order to help you with this, this topic guide uh, is available to you. So I'll start with the first and the first, first and the foremost, find by topic. So I click on find by topic. Now as you can see, an alphabetical list has been arranged for all the topics that can be used to conduct a research. The list serves as an index to the information containing in our database and also performs similar functions of the content list of journals or law reports or the way it is showed in our ALE digest. Now there are two ways you can conduct a search uh, through topic guide. One, if you click on the scroll bar on the side, you can simply scroll down and you can see all the topics listed down over here. However, uh, in order to ensure the time, uh, because time is a luxury and uh, we want to save our time. So in that scenario, if in this case you want to type a particular thing. So I click over here. So I search jurisprudence. So I just type jurisprudence over here, find topic. Automatically the word jurisprudence is a topic. Jurisprudence would be presented in front of me. One click on this and click on go will give me the results. Now once we are done, once we select any of the topic from the list, we are further given two options to decide what we would like to see in our results. 
First is search in digest notes and the other one is search everywhere. Now search in digest notes as the name suggests is a very uh, self-explanatory uh, term that if you click on this radio button and click on go it will only and only search for the that particular topic in the digest in the head notes. However if you want to do extensive research you want to see the, all the primary laws secondary and other information other reports and all I would suggest that you click on search everywhere. Let's see it with, a, with an example. I'm going with administrative law right now. Find topic. There we have it. And right now, for the first example, I go for search in digest notes. Click on go. Now the results are right in front of you. And you can see D2, all the digest notes have been brought right in front of you. We already know the screen with the, uh, with the three sections. So the middle section, that I, anything that I select in the second uh, section, get displayed in the third section. And there is only entry or digest notes. Let's go back to the dashboards, click on find by topic again. And this time, Rather than typing it, I'll just select it from the list itself, Administrative Law, and click on Search Everywhere. Search Everywhere, and hit Go. Now you will see the, see the difference compared to the previous results, which only showed us the digest notes. This has retrieved the results not only from the uh, head notes area, but also from judgments from all the areas then acts, rules, notification, and so on and so forth. Now, I must uh, say, tell you about this. A lot of uh, members who are using uh, their software while they are on the webinar would see that the results that you have seen in the judgment uh, section is 12,000 12, on my screen. However, it might be different. And the reason, the only reason for that would be that it would not include the foreign and international cases. I'm using the Platinum Plus package, which gives me access to the Indian Plus international database, which includes the international uh, courts like this and the foreign cases of foreign 22 foreign uh, different countries. So that will be the only reason why we would have a different number on your screen compared to my screen. So this certainly just gives you access it's something similar to word search however with the topics defined in this list it just aids a faster retrieval and more guided search we click on the dashboard again uh, let's go for find case law by section now, find case law section is to be used when we are looking for a judgment on a particular section or for that matter, order. The description of how this needs to be used is already written on the left hand side of the screen. However, because it's a webinar, I'll just take you through the practical uh, part of it. So let's suppose I want to see CPC, right? CPC file and title. CPC uh, section act is in right in front of me with all the sections. However, I wish to see judgments on CPC order 7, rule 11. So I just keep scrolling down and there we have it. It says order 7, rule 11, rejection of plant. One click on this, scroll further, click on go. It will give me all my judgments on order 7 rule 11 of CPC the rest of the things remain the same I want to restrict my results only to Supreme Court I click on only Supreme Court it will just reset the entire uh, list the results and now it's gonna show me it's showing me only 150 judgments of Supreme Court Further, I can sort it by the latest judgment, by the quorum, 
All these things have been, uh, have been covered in the previous webinars. So I would request you can just go through it and, you know, and then just come to this. All these, the entirety, the entire software would be, uh, uh, would be understood by you by going through all the webinars one by one. Let's take another example. Let's say find section by uh, find case law by section again. And this time, uh, let me take Negotiable Instrument Act. I'm taking section 138. So either I can do, I can double click on this or I can do a single click and do a go over here. I'll prefer the double click this time. It'll work in the similar fashion what we saw earlier, a few minutes back. I've got the results from on section 138 of Negotiable Instrument Act right in front of me. Now, it's not that your results, you, now this is your result and you cannot go any further. All the, all the search methods, all the features that you've been using in other search methods are also applicable over here. We talked about the only feature a few minutes back. We talked about the sort feature as well. Similarly, the sub search will also be functional in this. So I want to see for penal near 420 along with negotiable 138. And now, within no time, it'll give me the results wherein negotiable instrument act 138 and penal code 420 was discussed together in one judgment. Crossing this out, we all know this. We cross it out, it says remove this, this from search. So if I cross it out, it'll bring me back to the main search, which was Negotiable Instrument Act, section 138. Let's click on this uh, the dashboard again and move to our word and phrases. I'm giving one one example uh, for right now because usually I have noticed that a lot of questions are, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people, we have a lot of, we have to answer a lot of questions in the second segment of this webinar. So I'm giving you a heads up on how these features work. And then in case someone has something specific to be uh, question, uh, to be uh, addressed, we can take it to the question answer round. Now, going to the word and phrases. Now, word and phrases is a legal dictionary that we have put in over here. It has two options. You can search by a word or a phrase. You can then further select show list of words, phrases starting with type text or with type text anywhere. Now, what is the difference between these two? Now, the first one, if I stick on the first one and say bail and say show, it's going to show the word, the meaning of bail from wherever you know, word word bail was discussed either in the judgments, Indian, inter, Indian or international, or from the legal dictionary. In the legal dictionary, we have put in the, Wart, the Wharton uh, legal dictionary. If that particular word has been defined in the Wharton dictionary, that will also come over here. And in the end, it will say what. So you know, the fourth definition is not from the judgment, it's from the Wart dictionary. Wart dictionary. However, if you see the Previous ones, the earlier ones, the third definition. If you scroll to the last, it says this is from Deepak Shubhachandra Mehta versus CBI, and the citation is given over here. So we could find four different citations, four different definitions on the word bail. Coming back to this, so where we started from. However, let's suppose you are looking for the word anticipatory bail. But because you have written just bail and you selected this one, it will go letter by letter. So it will search with B, A, I, L in the same format. But if you click on this, the second one, which says show the list of words, phrases with type text anywhere. And now you write bail. You automatically see anticipatory bail, non-bailable warrant and other things are also coming up wherein the bail is not the first word and now if I do the search
it's giving you the similar results the result difference is not there however just the difference in the search helps you choose it so like suppose we click on this the first one and now we write bail you will not say anticipatory bail as a suggestion in this but the moment we click on this and now right we get anticipatory bail so it is only to help you with the search so in case any one of you is uh, can, is doubtful or is in a dilemma that will I get a different results not really you will get what you're looking for it's just a artificial intelligence which is helping you you know with the word that you're searching let's try another word and this time let's go with this uh, into Italia so simple a dictionary word amongst other things Let's take another example and prejudicator. Start search. And there we have it. The first definition is right over here. The second definition, the third, which is from what. But we also have an international judgment of Queen's Bench. That means this definition was picked up from the what dictionary but was also used in this judgment so this is these are the three different uh, search methods that were yet to be covered and today we discovered it i kept it i tried to keep uh, you know i today i was trying to keep this session very very uh, specific and small uh, do let me know in the comments that uh, was this uh, more beneficial or you want a more elaborative sessions like the previous ones. Before we open the session uh, for the question answers, I would just take you, I just log myself out. And uh, like I said uh, a few minutes back, in case you want to update or uh, keep yourself updated with what is happening, in the software, in terms of database, in terms of trainings, in terms of anything new features, please scroll down, come to the SEC online website, please scroll down and it says your email address. Put in your email address over here, click on subscribe and you will be added to our mailing list and you'll be getting all the information right in your inbox. So you're never gonna miss out on any new information. I'm just going back, logging in, and now I'm going to open the, this webinar for questions and answer the round. If anyone has asked this question, ask any question in the, in the chat above, I would uh, request you to uh, please uh, ask the question again because I would not be able to go um, back on the top. However, uh, knowing the, uh, almost the, all the entire team of SEC is available on, the, on this chat, I'm, um, I'm, assure, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that everyone would have got their answer by now in the chat itself. So let's start it. Uh, Manish Jain, short and simple is a great session. Thank you so much. I think so we got this. A pad does not have all options you have shown. Uh, uh, this is Hema. Hema iPad does have all the options. It's not, uh, it's not pertaining to uh, any device. It's actually, if you're using, a, uh, if you're using an application on an iPad, then you will not have these features. However, uh, if you are uh, doing this, uh, if you are uh, looking at the software of SEC Online through the browser, you'll get all these features. Uh, apparently, I'm right now, what I'm showing right now, it's through my iPad. What you see on the screen is my iPad. It's not my uh, laptop. Yes. How can I, Nikoj, how can I get previous session recording that uh, I have covered what has been missed? Nikanj, uh, uh, right now you're on uh, SEC Online portal, SEC Online uh, YouTube channel. Just click on the videos in the channel. Just click on the ch uh, channel and then click on the videos. You'll get all the webinars over there. Yeah. If you still have some problem, or we are still on the webinar for another 5-10 minutes, please come back and uh, let us know. Yeah. Uh, how can we know if the judgment has been reversed in an appeal or any other judgment? Uh... Annie, uh, this is a, a, a bit of a, of, um, you know, it's not on the topic that we were covering today. 
However, I've not really covered in my previous webinars, so I'm going to answer this question. For everyone, uh, just hold on to your questions for a minute. I'm going to answer this and then we can open the question answer round one more again because I don't want to miss out on any of this. Uh, questions. It's uh, Annie has a question. How can we know if a judgment has been reversed in an appeal or by any other judgment? Now for that, uh, we have done this thing. You know, what I'm searching is not important. What I'm going to show you will make a lot of sense. So any time the judgment is reversed, uh, I'm not focusing right now on what I'm typing is because that is not uh, going to help you. But uh, Annie, uh, if you're with me right now, whenever you're looking at a judgment and most, uh, most probably because you're talking about appeal, the judgment was reversed in the appeal, then I'm going to click on only high court notes, high court judgments. And any judgment which gets reversed we have started putting this line on the top. Reversed in Vishal and Kalsari citation is this. It's a 2015 case, but in 2016, it was reversed. And these are all the things. And this red exclamation mark will also ensure that you do check that why there's an exclamation mark over there. There's a simple difference. In Supreme Court judgments, you will not have this against the judgment. You'll only have in the head notes because only the head notes get overruled because that's the overruled part. But in the reverse, we put this exclamation mark against the judgment entry, not against the digest entry, which simply means that the entire judgment has been reversed. I hope that answers your question. If you still have it, please reach out to me on my email address and I will be able to help you uh, further into this. Yeah, I'll be sharing my uh, email address shortly. Uh, good information session. Okay, please let us know the way to search state tax from fine by section. Now, uh, Shaveta, Shaveta, uh, for the case law for a particular uh, state act, on a particular state act, like just right, I'm just searching for a particular state. If I say Delhi, all the Delhi state acts are available over here. Similarly, if I say Rajasthan. So Rajasthan Acts would be coming over here. State Acts, we are still uh, trying to add more to it. It also depends if the state budget is available or not. A lot of times the state um, you know, acts, uh, are state acts, state budget is not available and that is one challenge that, uh, you know, which makes us, we, which stops us from putting that particular act over there because we will only and only work on the state budgets and not on the download uh, text of the available online. online. Uh, Mr. Nayak can access all this on mobile. Absolutely, you can access all this in mobile. Like I said a few minutes back, uh, if you're accessing it via the browser, irrespective of the uh, of the device, you'll get all these features. If you're accessing it by the application, then there would be some features which would be, uh, you know, uh, not available on the app. It's like any other software. If you use Facebook or a Gmail on a phone or an app, it has a different features. If you go on the browser, it has a different features. It's it's a space constraint, it's a screen constraint that we have. Uh, uh, okay, Ajit, I'm not finding same results when find by section, for example, section 122 of Army Act. Uh, Ajit, what exactly are we uh, getting on the screen? Are we getting the results or you're not getting any results? If you can uh, exp you know, elaborate on that one. Uh, can I do everything by tap? Uh, can I do everything by tap? Subramanium, uh, Subramanium VN, can I do everything by tap? Uh, if you can elaborate, what do you really mean by tap? Like, do you, if you are saying that, can I click on it and it will work? It does. Uh, Mahesh Kumar, so what is the GST rate finder? Okay, GST rate finder, there was a reason I didn't really cover it up. GST rate finder is primarily if you're in case you want to see, um, you know, what is the GST on a particular commodity, you can simply on, uh, put it over here. So you can either you can write the service code or the HSN number, or you can just write the, the commodity. So for example, I'll write CCTV here yeah, and click on go. It will automatically tell you the HSN number, what is the GST rate, the CES applicable on it or not, and the input input stack credit, can you avail this or not. That's what it is all about. Uh, let me give you another example for this. Uh, let's say tires. 
So there we have it. Yeah? That is the GST rate finder. Mm, okay. Uh, multiple case law viewing via party names. Multiple case law viewing by party name. Uh, Nikki Poker, could you elaborate on that part? What exactly do you mean with this question? Let's say I want to search uh, search a whole line in the judgment. How to do that search? For example, the punishment awarded should be directly proportionate to the nature of the magnitude of the offense. Uh, Rajesh Sekaran, uh, that is something that you need to uh, use the feature of word search. If the if the sentence is uh, the punishment awarded should be directly proportionate to the nature and the magnitude of the offense, you just need to put in the main main words and use the word near, use the operators near and start start search with it. Uh, if you need more elaborative uh, help on it, please go through the search uh, word search uh, webinar. We have covered all such examples over there. Thank you. Uh, please let me know the say state act. Uh, Shweta, I just answered that question. Uh, what is the used uh, utility of GST rate finder? We have done that. Okay. Uh, I like the when uh, people are people are helping each other. Like Shushant is helping. Uh, I think someone who asked about GST rate finder. Thank you, Shushant Chavan. Multiple case law viewing via party names. Uh, Nikki, uh, multiple case law by viewing by party name. When you go for one by party name, you can select one party at a time because you're searching in the title. So it will be one party at a time in the searching. Uh, Narayan Swami, yes, you can search by uh, acts and rules of by the states. I've just covered that up, please. Uh, I'm sure you have seen that now. Uh, can we access NCLT decisions? Yes, you can. There's, uh, they're already available and you can also go over find by citation with the citation search. How can we find specific order pass under a specific judgment? Uh, Kashif, I think there are ways to look for it. Uh, you know, if you search by that party name, you know, and if there's a relevant orders, the party name remains the same. So you'll get different, different entries when you're searching with the party name. However, if you need more help on it, uh, if you want to see, if you want to be updated with all the orders, then I believe uh, we have another software, which is a uh, very, uh, I think, uh, competitive price, uh, competitive price, and it gives you access to all the, these needs and advocate needs. The software name is Mercury. So you can uh, Mercury, uh, you can search for it or you can write an email to us. I'll be sharing my email address uh, in the chat right now. So you can uh, write to us and I can share how that can help. It's basically a diary management tool that we have created and uh, that is helping a lot of advocates already. So gosh, you might want to go for that. Uh, not getting any results, Ajit, uh, on what... Uh, what are you searching, Ajit? Will this available after it ends so we can revise it? Uh, Anish, yes, it will be available. Uh, you can search the entire statement by phrase search. Okay. Um, NCLT can please show how to browse notes on clauses on vending ads, not in judgments, but separate browsing statements of objects and reasons. Uh, okay, Harish, uh, let me understand this question. Uh, please show how to browse notes on clauses of amending acts not in judgments, but separate browsing of statements of objects and reasons and not on clauses of acts. Uh, Harish, uh, could you just, uh, you know, elaborate it more because it's something that I couldn't really understand your question uh, entirely. Show MC Mehta in party name. This will show multiple cases of... Oh, okay. I think uh, Charu Kapoor has uh, helped to have said something. I think the question of how we can see multiple cases. So if the question was, if I want to see the cases which are combined, the uh, you know the combined cases, then the combined cases are showed right over here. MC Mehta is actually a very good example. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Charu Kapoor and MC Mehta, there it is. And I click on this one.
So the combined cases, whenever you're looking at those combined cases, okay, just a sec. I think Charu, uh, if you can just help me with the citation, I'm not really, I can't remember the citation, so I'm gonna just come back to this uh, again. Uh, Chetan, if I'm searching by party name, then it gives me multiple case law and I need to repeat the search again after I've viewed one. Okay, uh, like this. So I think, uh, Nikki, uh, I got your question now. So in case you have done with MC Meta and you remembered that, okay, I've uh, unknowingly, I, click, I clicked on the wrong entry, then this tick will ensure that you have seen this one so you're not opening it again. So I hope that answers your question. So I think you were, you know, you were in that, you had the question that if I opened once, how will I get to know that I don't have to open it again? So this small tick will ensure that you have clicked, you already opened this one so you can select the other one from the list. Nikki, uh, Nikki Poker, I hope that answers your question. Uh, International laws, yes, it's aware, they're already available. Okay. Okay, oh, where are the questions now? Uh, okay, Nirmal, I don't get the same dashboard on my SEC premium subscription. Uh, this dashboard, uh, Nirmal, this dashboard is the same for everyone, irrespective you're using Indian package or international package, this will be the same. In case you are not uh, getting anything specific, then please uh, do write it to me, write uh, on my email address, or you can reach our toll free number as well. And just give us a screenshot, and probably I'll be able to help you out with it, or my support team will be able to help you out with it. Uh, Okay, Ajit Kakkar, not getting any results. I'm not finding uh, same results when find in section, for example, 122 of Army Act. Okay, let me just have a look at this. So, Mr. Ajit Kakkar. So, if I search for Army Act, okay, find results. And we are looking at section 122. Okay, period of limitation for trial. I think uh, you got the results. Ajit, uh, the results are right in front of you on section 122 of Army Act. And I hope that answers your question. Okay. Uh, okay, Harish. Uh, so, you can just like, uh, where was I? Normal. I don't get the same dashboard. Okay, uh, we are there for you. Okay, is there a correspondent to doing academic research paper? Uh, when uh, when cut, you can just write an email to me at learning at the rate and I can help you with that over there. Can you please show me the search by section number section? Uh, I just showed it to you, so I think that's the same way. Uh, Harish, a statement of objects and reasons are available uh, in. In the acts right over there so when you go for there are two ways i can go by say find by uh, case law by section so I, let's say i write cpc there are few acts wherein we have just, we took it off like in this one we are bringing it back you're right it is available in the in the uh, in the gadget copy we had it earlier we took it off but now we're bringing it back let me see i I think I have it in a uh, few already, like this one. This has SORs. So I understand you can, uh, what you're saying, your CR is missing in few. We already know about this, we're working on that one. And even if you go to the browse uh, acts and rules, you'll get all your SORs over there. Uh, okay, uh, how are we gonna get the judgment regarding uh, whether international articles. Uh, 
Dastagir, uh, you can write an email to me on for my uh, for the articles. I'll help you with that over there. I think what other wants to know is how do you search for statement of objects and reasons for any act? Uh, Rahul, I've just answered that uh, thing. How did you put that tick mark when you said it? We have opened one, then we do not have to open it again because we know we have already opened it. Aditya, I didn't put a, a tick mark over there. I'm uh, when I opened MC Meta case and I went in. The moment I come, uh, I came back onto the screen. The software put in a tick mark that you had that I have already opened it. So I can just check it. Uh, Mr. Ajit Kakar, uh, please uh, call my toll free number of office toll free number once, and. Uh, you know, we can uh, take your machine on remote and can help you with that. Idly should not be an issue because this is a common uh, software. It's Everything is lying on the server. So what you access, what I access is the same, exactly the same. So you can just go to our toll-free, uh, you can go to the website. I'll just share the toll-free number with everyone in the meantime. So when you are on the screen, you can just scroll down to the last and the toll-free numbers are available right over there. So you can call on this number and uh, Ajit and other anyone else, they'll be able to help you with it right now. Before we end this software, uh, end this uh, webinar, they'll be able to help you with that. Appears when you clicked on it, uh, it will automatically. Okay, Devanshu, thank you, Nikki. If you start the audio in the case law, it doesn't allow me to start it again from where I st stop. It starts from beginning. Uh, if you start the audio in the case. If you if I start the audio in the case law, it doesn't allow me to start it again. Are we talking about Nikki that when we are using the speaker option, it doesn't let you go ahead? I can uh, I'll let me make a note of it, and I can probably check it once the webinar is over. Uh, you can just write an email to me, Nikki, on the email ID that is already provided on the top, learning at the and uh, I can check after this webinar and get back to you if I if the problem persists on my uh, phone as well, on my ID as well. Uh, uh, Mr. A.R. Qureshi, uh, web, uh, articles from various students are being published, not only from one particular uh, you know, NLUs. We have been publishing uh, articles from various students. That's not a problem. Uh, that's being already taken care of. Okay, well, mobile edition has all options of web edition. Uh, Dastagir, yes, mobile has all the options, provided you're using on the browser. If you're using on the app, there will be a limitation. The certain uh, competent authority established under various sites, examples, rent control act has a competent authority established under the same. Does SEC cover those judgment too? Uh, Rahul, yes, we are covering those judgment as well. You can have a look over there. Aita Tewari, thank you. Okay, I believe that brings us to the end of this webinar. I think I've managed to answer all the questions. In case there's some question that I, I couldn't answer, I asked for clarification or something which is a technical issue, you can please reach out to our uh, toll-free number, which I've already shared. Similarly, you can uh, reach out to me on my email address that is learning, L-E-A-R-N-I-N-G at the rate sccaonline.com. You can also write to us in case you need any technical help at the rate, uh, that is the email address is support at the rate sccaonline.com. I thank you everyone uh, for uh, all the, encourage, all the ver encouraging words that you have been putting in the chat and for uh, amazing support during all these webinars. I hope these webinars were, uh, are being help to you. And uh, please read on this. Please share it with your friends and colleagues. Help everyone. And let's uh, be strong, stay safe, stay home, and uh, wait for this lockdown to get over. And let's start working again as usual. Till that time, I'll take your leave. Thank you so much. And have a good day. Bye.